Hi there, Elise Dewsbury here from New Musicals Inc. with another one of my video blogs on how to get no feedback from Elise. The topic for this uh, particular post is going to be premise versus theme. And I want to talk about when you sit down and decide what show you want to write. I want you to really think about the difference between those things and the importance of them. Sometimes a writing team will get really, really excited about a premise. It's wacky, it's fun, it's crazy, it's, you know, aliens, cowboys in space, um, or, or it's a, a wonderful retelling of a, of a classic story. Somehow or other, the premise is very exciting. And a team can get very excited about that and feel like that alone is, uh, is enough reason to write the show. And I want to encourage you to think also about the theme. Why are you choosing that story? Not just where are you putting it and what is the premise and what is the backdrop, but why do you want to tell that story? What is it that you want to impart to the audience? What do you want them to go away with at the end of the show? And really that all can be encapsulated in the journey of your lead character. In order for me to want to stay for your show and get really excited about it and care about it, I need to go on a journey with your lead character and want to go on that journey and care about whether the lead character gets where they need to go or not. It needs to be important. Something, something needs to compel me to want to go on that journey with the lead character. And certainly having a fun and crazy premise and silliness going on and all sorts of fun or really fun stuff happening in the background will be compelling and interesting, but it isn't the thing that will make me stay. At the end of the day, it, it, it honestly, as, as exciting and fun as it is, it isn't enough. Um, it's important for me to also care about what happens to the lead character and what they learn over the course of the story. So you really want to think about what it is you're trying to say with the story and how can your lead character encapsulate that in their journey? What can they learn along the way? And the premise, all of that stuff really is just the backdrop upon which you hang all of that. So all of that is much more important. And I wanted to talk a little bit uh, more in depth about that, about what is it that theaters are looking for these days? Because, you know, I get a lot of submissions of different pieces and I get a lot of people talking to me about the shows they want to write. And a question that often comes up is, is there a theater company somewhere that would want to produce this? Is there an audience that would want to see it? And how do you decide that? Because in that instance, it goes even beyond what is the premise? Is it fun? Is it catchy? Is it moving? Um, do I want to go on the journey with that lead character? All of those things are very important. But beyond that, uh, um, I think audiences and in particular theater companies uh, have always, but even more so these days, are looking for stories that are universal um, and, and that touch a chord, that can speak to a broad audience, that can bring stories to life that are unique and diverse and interesting, at something that can uh, be provocative to an audience, teach them something they didn't know anymore, uh, didn't know before they came to see the show. And um, I think all of those things are important, even if you're writing a comedy. So I don't think you should ever feel like just because you're writing a comedy that you can throw all that away and it's all about the premise and the silliness. It is, and all of that is important. But I think there has to be something uh, more underlying about it that's more interesting. If you want to really interest a producer and or an audience base, you need to speak to them on a, on a broader level. Um, now, when I say that a theme should be um, universal, that the story you're trying to tell is universal, one of the ways that we tell a universal story is by being specific. And that may sound a, a, a little bit like a paradox, and in some ways it is. But if you try to tell a universal story by telling the general story, it can feel a little bit like we're being preached at. It can feel like a documentary or a class. You know, so if, for instance, you want to, you know, tell a story about, you know, the atrocities of war, um, if if you simply tell the stories about all the bad things that happen to people in war, it'll feel like a documentary. It'll feel like I'm being preached at. So what you want to do is find the specifics. What specific story can you tell that will encapsulate the broader, more general, um, more universal story that you want to tell? How can you find the specific story that will enlighten that general, uh, larger story that you want to tell? So I think you want to tell a general and universal story, but you want to do it by using specifics. And I think you want to be thinking always about the theme and therefore the journey of your lead character, um, as opposed to simply settling for a premise that you think is interesting or fun. That's a great place to start. It can be, but we as an audience want more than that. 
So that's some conversation about uh, premise, theme, universality, um, and all of that kind of stuff that I hope will be useful to you. And that's it for this round, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Toodaloo.